Hey guys, what's up? Sahib here, aka the Growing Developer, and here I am with another video where we'll see how we can use the Google Sign In package and Firebase authentication services to sign in using Google. And uh, there are multiple concepts that we need to learn, or rather, that we need to understand. And for iOS integration, there are multiple errors that we can get when we are using these packages. So we'll tackle those problems as well. So you can see that we have the demo UI here and what we expect is that whenever we'll be uh, pressing this button, it will open or initialize the Google sign in uh, methods and let's see how we can do and what are the lines of code that we need to write. The Growing Developer So starting with Android, we have this code. The code is actually same for Android and iOS, but the difference is the configuration. So first thing first, you need to have the Firebase already configured for your application. So if you want to know how to add Firebase to your application, both for Android and iOS, go to this link in the info section and you can watch that video. We will learn how we can add the Firebase to our application. Now let's move on to this UI and see what it does right now. All we have is in the center we have a column and for the first child it is just a flat button which says sign in with Google and color is black and on press sign in with Google method is called. This sign in with Google method is nothing but this method which will which we'll be completing in this video. Go to your pubspec.yaml file and you need to add two uh, you need to add these two packages. Let me just zoom in so that you can see the name here. And uh, you can see that these are Firebase Auth and Google Sign In packages. I've already installed these packages. And now let's see what we need to do. So, first thing is we'll be creating two global variables. First one would be final Firebase Auth, Firebase Auth equals to Firebase Auth dot instance I guess right instead of these double equals it is like this so next thing is final Google sign in Google sign in equals to Google sign in so what we are actually doing is we are creating two global instances of Firebase Auth services and as well as the Google sign in services. And so we'll be using these variables here. Now how to use them? Let's move on to our coding, actual coding part. So inside the sign in with Google portion, first one would be final Google sign in account, Google user equals to await google sign in dot sign in so what is actually happening here now this error is why because we have to create this method and in synchronous one so you can use this async keyword here so what does this line mean final google sign in account google user equal await google sign in dot sign in that means we are calling the sign in method from the subject that we just created the Google sign in object. This Google sign in is inside this Google sign in package. So we are calling the sign in method here and we are getting a Google user in return. Okay, to understand it better, just uh, think of a scenario where you are using the sign in with Google button in any application and it opens a pop up, right? Where you can choose which Google user or which Google account to sign in. So that's, the, that's what this method is primarily doing. Next thing is when this pop up will be open, you will be selecting some kind of account that will be stored inside this Google user. But there need to be some kind of authentication services which will be running in a parallel to check if the sign in was authenticated or not. So, for that, we have another object which is Google sign in authentication. Now, this will take care of this authentication aspect. So I'll name it as Google Auth. It's totally your choice how you name the variables or the instances. So it would be await. Now all these requests are asynchronous in nature. That's why you, we are using this await keyword here. So next thing would be Google user 
dot authentication now that's all for the google sign in method you are you have asked for the authentication you have asked for the google user but next thing is does your application know that that user is now binded with your application it always keeps track of this our firebase service so now we have to write some code where we will be letting our firebase know that please sign in this user to our application so that this user can access our applications data as well as we can access the users uh, public data right so for that we have our auth credential now this auth credential is inside our firebase auth package auth credential now why we are using auth credential again for firebase because yes there are some permissions that has to be given to our application as well so for that we will be using this auth credential now firebase at the back end will be uh, communicating with the google servers where we have the gmail servers and it will ask if we if the application can access the details as well so there are some access token and id tokens what we'll be doing auth credential credential will be google auth provider now this is again inside our firebase auth package dot get credential now understand what is happening here now this get credential method will communicate with the google servers based on some kind of id token and access token from where will you get these id token and access token is this google sign in authentication so firebase is acting as a broker between google and our application so we'll write google auth dot id token and then for the access token it would be google auth dot access token so based on these id token and access token that are specifically for this user that was selected at the first step and we are storing that user into our own database into our own authentication services which is provided by firebase now we are able to sign in to our application using google but how to manage which user is there how to do the final steps so that we also get the user which is being signed in for that we have our firebase user right firebase user user equals to await use the firebase auth firebase auth dot sign in with credential and with which credential this credential now put a bracket here put a bracket at the end and dot user now don't get confused here this sign in with credential will return some kind of firebase credential to this but from that firebase auth we just require the user so that's why this method is first called and then whatever will be returned from this method we are using the user property so anywhere in your application you can use this firebase user right okay so we have successfully uh, written the code for the firebase user now let's see what all configuration we need to do at our console end to make this work so as you can see that i have opened my project so it will be like this firebase yttgd if you don't exactly know what it is go to the previous video and see how we set up the firebase here so go to authentication and go to sign in method and you can see that i have enabled google here so open this google this will be disabled for you if you are uh, new to firebase just enable this and make sure that you have this project support email this is one way to tackle some errors you might get some errors if this project support email is not configured so set this support email as the email that we have used for the for signing in this firebase console and save this that's it google is updated and now you can sign in using google okay so let's see if we are able to sign in or not so let's restart this application and uh, i'll open this as well 
so the app has restarted and uh, let's see if it works or not if i press on this button and after some time you can see that choose an account to continue to firebase demo and now you get to this uh the screen i've because i have not yet signed in to this device as it is just emulator and i'll not be signing in with my google account here so if you uh, so if you are using them for your physical devices you will find numerous a uh, number of google sign in accounts that you have already added to your phone as you can see that it is asking for email you can add your email and then it will ask for password and then you will just accept that you will that you are allowing this application to connect with your google account so that's all for this android part now the main error comes in our ios part whenever we are configuring firebase with our ios project you can see that our application just terminate unexpectedly and it is not able to start properly let's see the configuration for ios and most of the errors so i have opened this ios simulator and let's see if this application runs on this as well or not so i'll just fast forward this step because it might take some time to run on the simulator so let's see so as you can see that this xcode build is now done and now let's see if i'm able to run this application and this application has stopped and you get some kind of uh, throwbacks here now what actually is misleading here is that we don't get the complete stack trace here to get the to get the error so if you have this kind of uh, so if you have this kind of error so one possible reason is uh, if you go to this ios go to your uh, runner and inside this app delegate.swift you can see that this firebase app.configure is being written and this has to be done only once that means this method has to be called only first time this application is installed or run on our device so how to check if the firebase app is already configured or not for that what we are going to do is before this we'll write if firebase app dot app equal equal null or nil then only do this now what do you understand with this that we are checking if the firebase is already configured with our application then no need to call this method but if it is not configured with our application you have to call this method so first time if this firebase app is configured you get something in return with this firebase dot app method so let's close this and we'll close this as well and now let's restart this application and see if it is working or not so again i'll be fast forwarding this because it might take some time to build and i don't want to waste your time to show you how the app builds right so here it is so xcode build is done and now let's see if we can run this application or not and you can see a white screen configured and we have this application set up for us and now let's see if our google sign in actually works or not so let's click on the sign in with google because the code is actually same for both of them click on it and again the application just terminates now why is this error coming let's see platform exception google sign in your app is missing support for the following url schemas so we are missing some kind of url schemes so how to do this now let's open up the page for this google sign in go to pub.dev and if you search for google sign in this is the readme file and it says that you need to add this code inside your application to make it work this is our cf bundle url scheme 
So we'll just copy this from here, right? So copy this from here and go to your info.plist and just before this ticked, we will add this. That's it. You can see here to do replace this value. You have to replace this value from your value. So how to get your value? Go to your plist info file and you can see that this is reversed client ID. Now we'll just copy this. We'll just copy this value. Go to your info.plist. Let me just increase the font size so that you can see. Now we have added this here and this string is not at all for our application. We'll go to this google services.plist and you can see that uh, this is the string that we need reversed client id so we'll just remove this string from here and add our own string so we can just replace this so you can see that we have added our ul schemes here and it should work now so let's close all these files and restart this application and see if it is working or not so again a fast forward forwarded video because you are not concerned with how this app gonna build right so here it is again fast forwarding so the app has run and now let's see no termination till now and let's click here and still the application is still running and firebase demo wants to use google.com to sign in yes continue please and it opens up the site and it says sign in continue to project this this is our project id and you can see that we are successfully able to sign in through Google in our iOS application as well. So these are the two errors that we normally get. First thing, if you are not using any Firebase auth services and still your application is terminating, so go to your uh, app delegator shift file and you have to add that if firebase.app is null, then only call the firebase app.configure, otherwise no need. I'll also paste this code inside my description and on my website as well. So go and check out this uh, Growing Developer website and let me just show you the website once. So the URL is the growingdeveloper.org and this is our website where you can find all the important blogs and all the videos will be uploaded here. So this video will also be uploaded here. It will be inside this and I will be using uh, and I'll be writing a blog very soon where you can see everything written and easily copy and paste the code from there as well so that's all for my, from my side go and check out the website and write in the comments how you feel about the website how you feel about this video i hope i am able to solve many of your errors and if you get if and if you still get any errors in firebase configuration reach me out through my social platforms all the links will be in the description so thank you so much for watching this video hope you are having a nice day hope you are all safe Goodbye. Thank you.